The Eurofighter Typhoon is a collaboration between the UK, Germany, Italy and Spain. France left the project to make the Rafale. It is a swing roll or multi-roll aircraft designed to be able to perform different tasks and carry different armaments. In 1979, British Aerospace and Messerschmitt presented the European Collaborative Fighter, ECF, which soon became the European Combat Aircraft as Assault Aviation joined the program. The UK produced two aircraft, a single engine P106 and a twin engine P110 fighter. The P106 was rejected as it wasn't as effective. West Germany developed the TKF-90, a two-engine Delta Wing plus Canard configuration fighter. The ECA project collapsed because France wanted design leadership and a different engine, the Snecma M88, and three countries had different requirements. Germany, UK, and Italy created the ACA program, but MPB, Messerschmitt, and Aeritalia withdrew from the cooperation, and each company made their own aircraft. In 1983, the UK, Spain, France, Italy, and Germany started the FIFA program, which stood for Future European Fighter Aircraft. France quit and started developing the Rafale as they were denied from a leading role in carrier-capable fighter. Eventually, the company Eurofighter was created to manage the aircraft. Companies from all four countries developed the engines, the Eurojet 200. Performance and Specs The Eurofighter is capable of Mach 2 and Mach 1.5 supersonic cruise without afterburn. It has a range of 2,900 kilometers and a service ceiling of 65,000 feet and a climb rate of 62,600 feet per minute, being able to climb at a 90 degree angle vertically due to its thrust to weight ratio 1.15 provided by the two Eurojet 200 engines. The EJ-200 is capable of providing 13,500 pounds of force dry and 20,000 pounds of force wet. The fighter can carry 9 tons of armament spread across 13 hardpoints, being 4 under each wing and 5 under the fuselage. Combat Capability The Typhoon performs spectacularly in combat, being able to transition smoothly between air-to-air -air and air-to-ground engagement situations. It is now equipped with the Capture E AESA radar, capable of detecting an F 35 from the front at a distance of 59 km and a non stealth fighter up to a distance of 300 km. It also offers a field of view of approximately 200 degrees, 15% larger than most AESAs because of its hydraulic moving plate. The Capture E is also capable of jamming across any frequency and offers dedicated modes for air to air, air to ground, and surveillance or reconnaissance. Last but not least, it's capable of detecting and tracking a very large number of aircraft with decreased latency and higher accuracy compared to other systems. And the companies behind the capture is sure it has an enhanced capability of detecting stealth targets, though the details of these are classified. Eurofighter also features an infrared sensor. The Pirate RST is a passive system capable of detecting aircraft through its heat emissions at a distance of 50 km from the front and 80 km from the back. The radar, IRST, and targeting systems can be linked to the pilot's helmet to enable queuing targets only by looking, enabling the aircraft to engage enemies at any direction. Its main weapon is the MBDA Meteor, an air-to-air -air missile with a range of roughly 300 km and an amazing effective range of 200 km. That is because of its strutable engine, which allows to conserve fuel for the terminal stages of flight, giving it an amazing kinematic performance. The Meteor also features an internal guidance and a two-way data link, meaning the Typhoon doesn't have to maintain a lock on the target until the missile hits, and it also means the missile can change targets mid-flight. Eurofighter can also carry heat-seeking missiles and air-to-ground weaponry, such as missiles and guided bombs, demonstrating spectacular performance even when loading with 6,000-pound paveway bombs due to its low-wing loading and lightweight materials. While lacking trust vectoring, the Eurofighter can still turn very tight while retaining energy, being able to continuously pull a 9G turn without losing too much speed. It also features a reduced radar cross-section, especially from the front, while not sacrificing versatility for a stealth design. The Typhoon also brings laser and radar warnings, ECM, ESM, and a towed radar decoy for dodging missiles. Comparisons Rafale Both aircraft are very similar. However, while the Rafale can go faster at low altitudes and carry a greater selection of weaponry, the Eurofighter's powerful sensors, better kinematic performance, and higher top speed makes it a slightly better dogfighter and a far superior fighter beyond visual range, especially when jamming the enemy actively with the Captor E or accompanied by Tornado ECRs. Sukhoi 35 Both aircraft bring very similar performance and weapons to the table. However, the Capture E is a slightly better radar compared to the Russian Urbis E, and the Eurofighter has a much smaller radar cross section, meaning it can detect and attack earlier, making it better at BVR engagements. When it comes to dogfighting, things get tricky because of two factors. 
Sukhoi has 3D thrust vectoring and the Typhoon has better kinematic performance. The Sukhoi 35 turns much tighter than the Typhoon, but an inherent flaw of 3D thrust vectoring is that it leaves the user in low energy state. This means that the, if the Sukhoi 35 cannot shoot down the Typhoon straight away, the Eurofighter can easily maneuver and shoot down the Sukhoi. Plus, the Eurofighter can lock on and fire just by looking due to the helmet mounted display with target cubing. So I'm going to give the edge to the Typhoon. F-22 Raptor The F-22 has a real frontal RCS of 0.2 or 0.3, meaning it's very difficult to detect by radar. That number can be further decreased with radar absorbent coating. The Typhoon's RCS, in turn, is a 0.5, making the F-22's radar can detect the unselfie Typhoon at much longer distance. The Typhoon has a better missile and an IRST. However, it can only detect the F-22 at a distance of 50 km from the front, compared to the Raptor's 100 km radar acquisition range and 80 km weapon fire range. Therefore, in most situations, the Raptor wins. However, if the Typhoons are aware of the Raptor's presence, which is likely, either because of early warning, low frequency radars, or a missed Raptor's first attack, it can jam the F-22's radar to force it to attack way inside the Eurofighter's RST range, as was the case in an exercise where the Raptors had to close in to 23 kilometers before attacking, by which point the Typhoon could already have launched the Heat Seeker. So the F-22 has an edge in most situations, but the Typhoon can turn the tide if the Raptor's presence is known. When it comes to dogfighting, the Typhoon is far superior. Its helmet-mounted display with target queuing, compared with its capability of continuously pulling a 9G turn, can easily defeat the Raptor's 60-degree off-boresight missile targeting and trust vectoring. Because the former cannot lock targets at 6 o'clock, the latter leaves it in a low-energy state. This was my analysis of the Eurofighter Typhoon. I hope you enjoyed. Any aviation terms are explained in the description. Thank you for watching.